Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to the most comprehensive Next.js tutorial course. Throughout this course, we will build from the ground up, exploring all key concepts in Next.js. We will be focusing on version 15 and above, depending on when you're watching. In this introduction, I'll cover what Next.js is, why it's worth learning, and what you need to know before getting started. So, what exactly is Next.js? Next.js is a React framework for building full-stack web applications. When building applications with React alone, it's not feasible to create a fully featured application ready for production. React is a library for building user interfaces responsible only for the view layer of an application. As a developer, you need to make decisions about other features such as routing, data fetching, and more. Next.js, on the other hand, is a React framework. It uses React for building user interfaces, but also provides additional features that enable you to build production-ready applications. These features include routing, optimized rendering, data fetching, bundling, compiling, and more. You don't have to install additional packages as Next.js provides everything you need. However, keep in mind that Next.js being a framework has opinions and conventions that should be followed to implement these features. There is no need to worry though, as the conventions have emerged from a team with years of experience in writing React apps for production. So to reiterate, Next.js is a React framework for building production-ready full-stack web applications. Now that we understand what Next.js is, let's see why it's worth learning. The reason to learn Next.js stems from the fact that it simplifies the process of building production-ready web applications. Let me list some of the key features that Next.js provides out of the box. First is routing. Traditional React applications require installing and configuring third-party routing packages every time you need to create a route. Next.js simplifies this with file-based routing. You just create files and the routes are automatically generated. Second is API routes, which sets Next.js apart as a full-stack framework. You can build both front-end React components and back-end APIs within the same Next.js application, allowing seamless integration between your front-end and back-end code. Third is rendering flexibility. Next.js supports both server-side and client-side rendering approaches. When implemented properly, this leads to improved performance and better search engine optimization. Fourth is streamlined data fetching. Next.js provides built-in async await support in React components, making data fetching straightforward and efficient. Next.js is also flexible with styling approaches, supporting CSS modules, Tailwind CSS, and CSS in JS solutions to match your preferences. Additionally, Next.js includes out-of-the-box optimizations for images, fonts, and scripts, enhancing your application's core web vitals and overall user experience. Finally, Next.js comes with an optimized development and production build system. This means you can focus on writing code instead of dealing with complex configurations. These features combine to make Next.js a powerful framework for web development. Throughout this course, we will explore each feature in detail. Also, please note that I may refer to Next.js simply as Next in the course, so please don't get confused. Now what about the prerequisites? HTML, CSS, and modern JavaScript knowledge are required. Since Next.js is a React framework, it's also essential to have a good understanding of React fundamentals. While you don't need to be an expert, you should be familiar with concepts like function components, props, state, JSX, and hooks. If you're new to React, I have an extensive tutorial series that covers React from beginner to advanced level, so make sure to check that out. My goal is to guide you from a complete beginner to becoming an expert in Next.js. You can find all source code for this course in the GitHub repository linked in the description. With this introduction, let's move on to building our first Hello World application in Next.js. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.